Okay, now moving forward, our next topic is rejuvenation of Pune. Okay, so rejuvenation means rejuvenation means the action of making someone or something look better or feel better. Okay, so in short, like the uh, place or someone is already in trouble. So to look at like uh, to what we can say, if I giving uh, like giving you an example, suppose there's a beggar on street sitting and uh, if uh, he looks generally beggars look ugly right because they don't either bath or do something like that correct uh, so because they don't have their homes something yes we know because they are poor correct so you must have seen the beggars they must be having very bad hair and if suppose we decide to make them uh, like look good so what we can say it is rejuvenation okay to make them like uh, after if suppose beggars or is an beggar an ugly beggar is having a bath and we are giving him good clothes and everything after bath he is clean and everything like good tidily neatly and tidily he is well dressed and all so what like he looks very good from before right so that is rejuvenation of so pune so that is the topic let us look what is there in that jizabai and shivaji returned to pune so from bangalore jizabai and shivaji came back to pune now they are where in pune shivaji maharaj remembered his childhood days which he had spent on shivneri we had learned in the last lesson shivaji maharaj was born in shivneri he played with the kids over their mavlas correct and he had spent his childhood time in shivneri correct shivneri fort so he, when he came back to pune he all rem he remembered all that memories like how he was born there and what and all memories he had his childhood memories okay later on what they are telling us he could see the lofty peaks of the sayadri again and he became very happy now shivaji maharaj was happy because he can see the lofty means tall high and peaks means like hills we can say of which which area sayadri okay so he can see the tall and high sayadri peaks of sayadris and due to which he was very happy seeing that nature beauty and his childhood memories remembering everything he was quite happy pune at that time was not a such big city pune at that time was not a big city like it was a small town we can say okay pune right now it is a big city as we know but at that time it was very small city small town okay it was totally devastated by shahaji rajes enemy now it was in jagir of whom shahaji rajes so shahaji rajes when moved to bangalore the enemies of shahaji rajes Raje completely destroyed and disturbed that area so that is why um, like the life over there completely changed so that pune was completely destroyed by the enemies of shahaji rajes further what they are telling us properties were damaged so there are the houses the temples whatever property was there in pune at that time that everything was damaged and destroyed okay nothing was there houses were demolished demolished means what destroy or to pull down like in sense they were completely destroyed there were no houses hut was there so like the hut was broken completely like that destroyed the people enemies destroyed the hut and everything like that so the houses were destroyed temples had collapsed collapsed means fall fall to pieces and or uh, fall down we can say okay so there were uh, the whichever temple was there in pune that was also destroyed the frightened people had fled from their villages so this uh, now such things where the enemies were doing such to pune so the people who lived in that village of pune they got scared like this enemies will kill us also they will burn or they will destroy us also they because they are doing destroying the houses temples and everything every property in pune of shahaji raje okay so what they did they buy uh, like fled means run away okay that is the meaning of fled so they just ran away from that villages because of fear of that enemies fields had become barren barren means infertile like no uh, vegetables or no crops would be grown in that field anymore so infertile land it had been okay thick forests forests had grown now as there were no houses or nothing so much forest area was grown jungle was grown okay wolves roamed in the countryside you know the wolf right i'll show you the picture if you don't know wolf wolf is a wild animal and that wolves used to roam in the countryside of pune like in the city of pune i mean the small town the countryside they used to roam that wolf so they used to harm people and all so wolves generally do that 
so people were scared of that and all pune this was totally in sh- shambles and ruins so pune this was completely shambles means a state of total disorder means nothing was left it was completely destroyed a state of complete disorder ruins means being destroyed so pune was basically nowhere left the enemies had destroyed completely pune further moving when the people living around came to know that jizabai has written to pune with shivaji they they took heart okay now people who had run away from pune and uh, the other they so shivaji maharaj and jizabai when they came back to pune people understood that they have come back to pune from bangalore so they were quite happy and they had like a uh, good feelings in their ha- heart okay Jizabai called all of them and reassured them that they would be safe in Pune. Now, what did Jizabai do? She saw all these conditions. So, she had a firm mind. And what did she do? She called all the people who just ran away from Pune. They, she called all of them back and she gave them assurance. Reassured means what? To say something to remove the doubts of or fear of someone. Like, to give that... trust that she she gave she made them trust that nothing will happen to you i will take care of you like that way so you come back to pune i reassure you that nothing will happen to you so she made people trust and remove the doubts and fears from their mind okay so that they will be they should come back to pune they should live in pune and they will be safe in pune okay people started settling in pune so they also believed people also believed who ran who had ran away from pune they also believed the words of jizabai okay and they came uh, started to come back and settle in pune like they started their they built their own houses and then they settled over in that area in pune okay and they started cultivating their lands and all now they mostly were farmers so what they used to do cultivate their land the lands were barren but they did the cultivation and all they started to do it again okay and later on what they're saying us jizabai had the dilapidated temples repaired okay so dilapidated means neglected or destroyed temple temples so the temples were dilapidated so what does that mean they were destroyed we had learned upside point like the temples were collapsed right we had a look to a look into that right so the temples were completely destroyed as it was one of the properties in the pujagir of whom shahaji rajit so the enemies destroyed that so she would uh, jizabai what did she do she repaired that temples she made the temples back to normal so completely the temples were renovated in the temples worship began day and night like evening and the morning time the worship of uh, whichever temple was there there the prayers and the worshiping of god began morning and evening also like back to normal when they were in pune at that time who were in the beginning when shiva shivaji maharaj and jizabai were there how the temples used to be there right like that only now also she made back to that condition the town was again throbbing with people the pune was totally transformed now what the she what they are telling us this town was again like how it was completely destroyed now it uh, started being uh, uh, normal it got settled back to normal again and thus uh, like people settled in pune and thus pune was growing and becoming strong and thus pune was completely changed transform means to change okay so this is how we have seen the rejuvenation of pune so to feel to look so pune was completely destroyed first then she she was jizabai already transformed the whole of the pune so this is about this point so if you have any doubts you can ask me kids okay